If we look at our world today, we see human beings deprived of basic needs, the destruction of vital resources, the loss of our natural capital, a reduction of biodiversity, unprecedented CO2 concentration levels that contribute to global warming with dramatic consequences for people and for the planet. The current economic system focused on unlimited growth is considered to have put strain on our planet and habitat. Natural resources fuel economic growth, but economic growth causes the degeneration of natural resources. A paradox that ultimately undermines economic systems. Taking responsibility for our world and for the societal maladies that economic systems have contributed to is not only the mandate of the new millennium, but also an opportunity for business. The Intergovernmental Science Policy Platform in 2019 invoked transformative changes in business practices. We need to embrace sustainable, aimed at limiting harm, restorative, aimed at restoring a healthy state, and regenerative practices, aimed at actively promoting well-being and contributing to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals in order to conduct business with respect. Supporting these transitions in business practices while ensuring profit generation and well-being is at the core of the International Business Professorship's agenda. Internationally operating businesses are and are going to be at the forefront of these transitions. The reason is based on two main arguments. First, their impact across borders and their prominence in the economic system, mainly due to globalization. In the Netherlands, 37% of Dutch companies are involved in import or export activities, which contribute considerably to the added value of the country and to employment. Only 1% of these companies has more than 250 employees, and therefore internationally operating businesses of all sizes are at the core of the economy. The second reason is that internationally operating businesses are involved in a complex network structure of flow of goods, services, capitals and technologies across national borders, referred to as global value chains. Goods may no longer be designed, manufactured, assembled nor marketed in a single country, but rather through global value chains. Goods are no longer made in Italy or made in China, and not just made in the world, but on a planet for which we are all responsible. The Participation Index of Countries to Global Value Chains is assessed by the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. The Netherlands rank among the highest in the EU. To summarize, the objective of the International Business Professorship is to contribute to our world and to have impact by supporting the transitions of internationally operating businesses and their ecosystem, namely global value chains, towards sustainable, restorative and regenerative practices. The research agenda is structured to answer three main research questions. The first question how to configure a business in the context of global value chains while also supporting the transitions towards sustainable restorative and regenerative practices. This challenge often involves creative solutions for dealing with contradictory tensions typical of operating globally while responding to local needs. The ben benchmarking and identification of best practices is critical for success. International operating businesses aim at entering and or upgrading their position in global value chains to expand advantages derived from their participation to the network. The second question, therefore, is how to engage in these dynamics while supporting transitions to sustainable, restorative, regenerative practices. This is challenging as it requires to deal with the interdependencies among actors in the global value chain.
For instance, what represents an environmental upgrading for one actor, for example, in the coffee industry, a farmer, may be different from what it represents for another actor, for example, in the same industry, a roaster. Orchestrating and coordinating activities along global value chains may require a vision about the public interest that encompasses the scope of business alone. Sector-level coordination and government involvement can play an important role. How is orchestration driving, accelerating internationally operating businesses and global value chains transitions towards sustainable, restorative and regenerative practices? These three questions guide the main lines for the research agenda. The research agenda also identifies two key enablers, having the potential to facilitate the transitions and impact how configuration are designed, how dynamics evolved, and how orchestration is pursued. The first is digitalization. For example, think about 3D printing, allowing to move not products, but designs, or blockchain technology to increase transparency and traceability along the entire value chain. The other enabler is cultural awareness and negotiations. International business professionals are constantly challenged to operate among multiple cultures because developing cooperation in various countries requires an understanding of local mindsets and values. Now more than ever, we are realizing that we all share the same planet and its fate. Now more than ever, fact-driven guidelines, insights on how to deal with crises are needed. Disruption in the production of crucial products such as medical equipment can cost human lives. Configurations, uh, dynamics and orchestrations need to adapt quickly to these challenging in-between times. An additional research line on best practices to cope with the global emergencies for internationally operating businesses and their global value chains is critical to respond to the professional field's needs. Ultimately, we are all united and motivated by the common mission to improve our world.